What's going on everybody? Another episode of CTTV. Mike here alongside, as usual, with Juliet. Juliet, tell everybody what they can expect on this week's episode. So this week, uh, back by popular demand, we got a lot of requests for our field reporter, Lee. So he's going to be taking us out um, around the office, finding out what account managers and some of our recruiters uh, would do here if they won a cut of $1.6 billion. As most of you know, or all of you, the Mega Millions is at $1.6 billion. Uh, so I'm getting ready to head out with uh, with our lottery executive, Kurt Hughes, and uh, we'll get to him in a minute. Hello again, everybody. Mike here along with Kurt Hughes. Kurt, where are we heading? Hi, this is Kurt Hughes, uh, senior executive recruiter and lottery ambassador. We are currently headed to three very successful Wawa's throughout the Orlando area to buy several hundred lotto tickets and uh, make... Crawford Thomas, that much richer. Here we go. All right, just got back from buying the lottery tickets with Kurt here with Juliet. $1.6 billion, like I said, is a lot of money. So we have to find out what everybody would do if they won the lottery. We'll start with Juliet. Juliet, what would you do if you won the lottery? If I won a piece of the pie, what would I do? I think I would probably get a personal masseuse, and a live-in sushi chef. That <laughs> sounds wonderful. What about you, Mike? Uh, so being from Florida, I'm probably gonna stay put in Florida, on the beach somewhere, near a really nice golf course, and have a really extremely fast car. That's my lifestyle, <laughs> I would love that. Um, I think we should kick it over to Lee, yeah? Yeah, Lee, tell us what uh, the rest of CT would do with their money. Thanks, Julia. Let's go on a hunt here in CT and find out who our first victim. Oh my god, it's Kyle Cooper! Kyle, let me ask you as you're enjoying this phenomenal Rice Krispie treat. If you won $1.6 billion tonight, what's the first thing you would do? I'd buy Hawaii and take my wife there. You can't go wrong with that. Happy wife, happy life. And he gets it. Let's see who's up next. We got one of our cat. Oh my god, cat, the account manager here. Are we interrupting? Uh, it's just in the middle of a call. I've done that now. Okay, excellent, excellent. Cat, well, we have a very important question to ask you. If you won $1.6 billion with a B, what's the first thing you would buy? An elephant, duh. Okay, we have an elephant. <laughs> Hopefully an exotic elephant. And where would you store the elephant? I'd have my own rescue farm with a bunch of elephants. You heard it here first. Crawford Thomas cares about the environment. Thank you. All right, so far so good. Some interesting facts about Crawford Thomas and their $1.6 billion winnings. This is Rochelle, one of our lead recruiters here at Crawford Thomas. Rochelle, if you won $1.6 billion, what's the first thing you would buy? Not quit my job. I'm here with our CBO, our chief barking officer. He's heading into the gym to see who else we can find. Let's go this way, Django. All right, oh my God, Zach, did I catch you during an afternoon workout? Thanks. All right. This is Zach here at Crawford Thomas. We have a very important question for you. If you pull $1.6 billion on tonight's lottery, what is the first thing you would buy? Jet ski. A jet ski? Are we talking one, are we talking 10, or are we talking 100 for the entire company? 100, one match, one for you. 100 jet skis here at Crawford Thomas, and one for the team mascot. Thank you, Zach. Thanks so much, Lee. Mike here again. We gotta know, Lee, what would you do with $1.6 billion? You said $1.6 billion with a B, right? That's correct. First thing I would do is call up Jerry Jones. Jerry, it's time to negotiate. Your time has passed, our time is now. Go ahead and sell me the Dallas Cowboys. $1.6 billion, put them on the payroll. Let's bring Dallas a championship back. That's what we would do. Lee, new Dallas Cowboys owner after tonight. Stay Thanks tuned. Thanks again, Lee. That's all the time we have for today. But win or lose, we'll still be back next week with episode three of CTTV Weekly Update.